Well, there is some very important news tonight uh, from, on my email. I just got an email from Donald Trump. It's from Donald J. Trump. It says it is from the official email account of Donald Trump. It says, uh, Lawrence, directed to me, Mar Largo was raided. In fact, take a look. Take a look at this email. We can put it up on the screen for you. We just got it. It says, Mar Largo was raided. The radical left is corrupt. We must return the power to the people. Please rush in a donation immediately to publicly stand with me against this never-ending witch hunt. And it has my name there. It it's even suggests a donation. He thinks I'm good for $45. That's what, uh, that's what his email list managers tell him. And there's a deadline. Deadline for my contribution of $45 is immediately. Immediately. I got I to gotta drop everything and, and contribute. I got to say, I, I've received a bunch of these Trump uh, fundraising emails over the years at one of my many email addresses. Uh, that is the shortest one. That is the, the shortest, simplest one. My house got raided. Send me money. And once again, once again, Donald Trump makes American political history, presidential history with that email. An email about my house got raided by the FBI. So please give me a political contribution. No one's ever done that before. That is, that is pure Donald Trump. Well, Nothing happened today. Donald Trump broke the news last night about the FBI raid on his Florida home in the desperate hope that it would provoke coast-to-coast -coast outrage by Trump supporters, a national uprising by Trump supporters, but nothing happened. There was no uprising. On social media last night, one empty-headed Trump supporter got a lot of attention with a tweet to his 1.9 million followers on Twitter saying, tomorrow is war, sleep well. They are still sleeping. The 1.9 million Twitter followers who may have seen that tweet slept very, very well, and none of them, not one of them, went to war today including the guy who wrote the tweet. Outside Donald Trump's home in Florida, there were more members of the news media today than Trump supporters. A couple of dozen Trump supporters show out, showed up throughout the course of the day. None of them were ready for war, but they did enjoy talking on TV. Yeah, well, we came out to support Trump. I mean, we think it's awful what happened yesterday. We think it's abuse of power. That guy's not going to war for Donald Trump. Justin's not going to war for Donald Trump. Hold a flag for a while. That's about it. The Washington Post interviewed Trump supporters outside of Mar-a-Lago today, and they found one woman who traveled all of five miles from her home to wave an American flag near Donald Trump's home. Remember now, here is some numerical perspective to what you're seeing on that little bridge near Mar-a-Lago. There are 5.6 million Trump voters just in the state of Florida. Millions of them live within an hour's drive of Mar-a-Lago. And all of them, virtually all of them, stayed home today. And did nothing. 5.6 million Trump voters in Florida did absolutely nothing after Donald Trump's home was searched by FBI agents in plain clothes yesterday who obtained the search warrant from a Florida federal judge. America was not torn apart by that search warrant, as right-wing social media would want you to believe and as the Fox propaganda channel would want you to believe. There is no outrage. There is no uprising. If you take the TV cameras away, there will be zero Trump supporters outside of Mar-a-Lago. 74 million Trump voters today did absolutely nothing in response to the FBI search of Donald Trump's home. 74 million Trump voters in this country, and they did nothing. Social media 
and the news media will continue to distort the public reaction to the federal investigation of Donald Trump by amplifying wildly tweets from people who don't mean a single word they say and by sticking microphones and cameras in the faces of the microscopically tiny group of individuals who have raced to the TV news cameras in mar largo And the news media will steadfastly ignore the 5.6 million Trump voters in Florida who are staying home and doing nothing. And the 74 million Trump voters in this country who are staying home and doing nothing about the raid on Donald Trump's home. Donald Trump, who measures his very self-worth by the size of his crowds, has to be crushed by the, in effect, zero turnout of a crowd anywhere. A crowd in public support of him. That is not a crowd that those TV cameras are aiming at down at Mar-a-Lago. There is plenty of room between each one of those individuals who has traveled apparently a very short distance to be there. No crowd at all, zero crowd, nowhere in America is there a crowd today or tonight for Donald Trump. Donald Trump appears to have the support of people like the leader of the Republicans in the House of Representatives, Kevin McCarthy. But that is obviously just political posturing that when quoted by the news media simply turns the news media into a conduit of Republican lies. But. Those Republicans, those Republican office holders do enjoy talking on TV about their support for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is probably, can't prove this, there's no journalistic proof of this, but he's probably as terrified tonight as anyone else whose home has ever been searched by, as Donald Trump described it, a large group of FBI agents. But what American journalism produces is a quote from an unnamed aide to Donald Trump that Donald Trump believes he will be politically helped by the FBI raid. Now, that is the news media quoting an unnamed liar about a known liar. Everyone who works for Donald Trump lies. So every time a Trump aide, named or unnamed, is quoted, a liar is being quoted by the news media. And when that Trump aide is telling you what Donald Trump thinks, that is a liar telling you what a liar thinks. It has zero journalistic value. The best approach to this story of the Trump search warrant is to ignore the political bombast of the Kevin McCarthy's and absolutely ignore the empty threats and boasts of social media. Social media is a mirage to begin with, but right-wing social media, that is a complete nuthouse of madness and emptiness. Ignore all of that and notice that 5.6 million Trump voters in Florida have not done a single thing because of the FBI search of Donald Trump's home. None of them changed their schedules today. And 74 million Trump supporters nationwide, including the guy on Twitter who said war was going to start today, have done absolutely nothing. The war guy himself did absolutely nothing today. But he did get a massive amount of attention to his tweet on television today. And virtually all of that attention <laughs> took his war tweet seriously. The only thing we can take seriously in this story is the criminal investigation of Donald Trump now underway in Merrick Garland's Justice Department with FBI agents working under the direction of an FBI director who was appointed by Donald Trump, searching Donald Trump's home yesterday, provoking him to complain in writing last night. They even broke into my safe, exclamation point.